I want to show you first some snatches of what happened in Parliament, where you had a white paper versus the Congress's black paper. Take a look at the fireworks in Parliament, and then we'll show you how people in this More Than Nation poll have responded to who was better economically for them. Take a look at what happened in Parliament first. Manmohan Singh ji, puri dunia jaanti hai ki we vishwa ke jaane maane arthashastra hai. उनके समय में आज तक की सबसे अधिक विकास दर रही है यूपीए में उनके ही शासन काल में नागरिकों को फूड का कानून अधिकार शिक्षा अधिकार वन अधिकार भूमि अधिकार संरक्षण और सूचना अधिकार जैसे ऐतिहासिक कामों के लिए जाना जाएगा यूपीए गवर्नमेंट ने कोल स्कैम के द्वारा भारत देश का भयंकर नुकसान किया उसमें गुटका कंपनी को गुटका तैयार करने वाले को भी कोल माइनिंग में इन्होंने लाइसेंस दिलवाए इतना गंभीर काम किया है व्हेन यू डोंट पुट द नेशन फर्स्ट व्हेन यू पुट योर फर्स्ट फैमिली फर्स्ट and when you have other consideration than transparency the results are out there for you to see when the results are out there for you to see so what happened after 2008 when there was a global financial crisis and what happened post the covid shows clearly that if the intent of the government is sincere if niyat aur niyam dono sahi hai to acha result milega aaj aap kya kar rahe ho wo mahatva kya hai you are ruling today is inflation ko control karne ke liye aapne kya kadam uthaya ye mahatva ka hai na ki azadi ke pehle kya tha phir nehru ji ne kya kiya इंदिरा जी ने क्या किया राजीव ने क्या कहा क्योंकि कांग्रेस को तो आप गालियां देते दे दो लेकिन ये मेन समस्या है महंगाई का आपने इसको जो उसको कंट्रोल करना था वो नहीं किया ओके सो दैट टू साइड्स ऑफ द स्टोरी Malikarjun Kharge versus Nirmala Sitaraman and that's what's going to play out in our studio where we look at with hard data how the mood of the nation sees the Modi government's handling of the economy with the Manmohan Singh government's handling of the economy rao while the larger picture suggests that people are quite happy with the political performance of prime minister modi on the question of handling of the economy it's interesting that the ratings of dr manmohan singh have gone up in the last few mood of the nation polls and that of prime minister modi seem to have come down a bit let me take you through the data in january 23 51% of the respondents thought narendra modi handled the economy better that's now come down to 46.6% whereas in january 23 36% thought Manmohan Singh handled the economy better that's now gone up to 41 so it's not a change in the direction but the trend line suggests that the perception around Narendra Modi's handling of the economy has come down a bit from last year and Manmohan Singh's handling of the economy seems to have gone up Yashwan Deshmukh how do you explain this because this is when the government's brought a white paper Dr Singh can look at this data and say hey the gaps not that much and narendra modi is in power now i was in power 10 years ago i think two things are at play here the number uh, the overall the opposition alliance india alliance talks and everything rahul uh, that might have played into bettering the number of dr manmohan singh because of uh, coalition talk and everything else and also the fact that uh, the inflation has been the huge huge issue Uh, you know week after week day after day and that we have been reporting for almost 2 3 years now that uh, inflation and uh, uh, inflation related issues in running the household have become the major concern from majority of the indian majority of the households if there was no free food program then there would have been crisis at hands 
having said that at the same time when people acknowledge that the inflation is a problem at the same time people who say who is gonna find a solution to this a huge majority of them actually name narendra modi they yes. do not name dr manmohan singh to finding a solution to the problem of inflation but you know the devil sometimes lies in the details and in the way polls also reflect a recency bias yeah. the truth is we have narendra modi ji as prime minister now dr manmohan singh's last day in the rajya sabha was yesterday he's virtually retired from politics almost 10 years ago therefore siddharth zarabi are these fair comparisons to make for example on inflation in the last couple of years the manmohan singh government was buffeted by the global oil price crisis prices went up the modi government had the benefit of that in the first few years they had global tailwinds taking them uh, forward on on oil prices were very low in the first couple of years is this a fair comparison in the first instance when i bring out a white paper or what you didn't do without even sometimes mentioning what i did the paper is completely <coughs> silent for example on unemployment uh, rajdeep since you speak about oil as an example then i would say that what happened in russia and ukraine and uh, consequently to oil supplies it is very clear that the current government prime minister narendra modi went beyond normal economic uh, policy making at the strategic level to continue to buy russian oil and also parallelly for almost two years now keep pump prices at a frozen level so if you were to take only the oil example that you gave it is very clear that the modi government did far better on managing uh fuel price inflation and coming back no, but to between the... 2014 and 17 when oil prices were low they didn't pass on the benefit less is to the customer no, you know, let's be clear argument... you see my point is when you put up two white papers of this kind and a black paper no, on I'm the other hand that, you Rabbi. don't get into the details the first 3 years and this has been answered by the government repeatedly were basically for example again on oil prices cleaning up the previous oil bonds and if this is what the government says but just come back here and just one quick point i would argue that the august dip that we see here is now back on the upswing and if we were to do this 3 months later or closer to the general election this number is going to definitely look much better my argument here is that this dip was temporary four or five six months it's back on the upswing and okay. why do you think it's on the upswing well because in the last six months there has been much better management of inflation on the whole multiple steps have been taken